Hello there. I thought I'd do a basic video just to get you started with programming the OpenCPS uh, software. So we can get um, a basic code plug into either a GD77, a DM5R, an RD5R, or a DM1801, or uh, the uh, DM860. So you'll see I've already got the uh, OpenCPS uh, open. The first thing I'd like to point out is one field that you must complete in every case. And uh, I've made this mistake in the past and written a, a nice code plug and wondered why it didn't work. And that's because we always need to put in the uh, DMR ID and call sign. You'll see it just defaults here to GD77 and radio ID 1. That won't work. Um, You'd have to have, in fact, you could leave the call sign as GD77. It wouldn't have much impact. But you need to put your DMR ID in the relevant box here. And what I normally do, I see it won't allow you to have a, an empty one. So put your DMR ID in there. And I normally put my call sign in the in the upper box. But as long as you've got your ID in there, you'll, you'll be okay. The next thing that I normally do is to put in the uh, the list of contacts that I'm going to need. Now, contacts are your talk groups, talk groups that you use, uh, maybe via your hotspot or via your local repeater. Um, the blank code plug comes with a few uh, talk groups. You can see talk group nine, the para talk group, uh, one for open GD77 and um, talk group 91 most people will want to add to that it's very easy to add a talk group i'm going to add let's say the uk calling channel here all i do is right click brings up the ad most of what you're going to add here if it's a normal uh, talk group that you use via uh, a repeater or your hotspot it's normally going to be a group call so we click on group call um, give it a name you could say uh, here UK uh, calling. I'm going to put in, um, as I say, UK calling channel 2350. It's a group call, so that's fine. Just click the X and you can see now that's in there. Okay, we'll do another one. Another group call. We'll have this as uh, UK chat one and that will be two three five one you get the idea click the x there it is okay now however many talk groups you use is going to give on how many contacts you you're going to need in here um with the transceivers i use at home i've got, I've got about a dozen um talk groups in that i i normally use or listen to but it's entirely up to you how many you're going to need here um, the next thing that uh, most people would do at this stage is to program in uh, the channels that they need. Um, now you can see there's one already here, but I think it's yeah, it's, it's just a, a sort of a sample one. With the channels, this is where the open software comes into its own, because in the past. If there are 12 talk groups that you normally use and you want to program your handheld up for your use with your hotspot at home, then you would need 12 channels. Okay, each with a separate talk group allocated to them. But with the open firmware, you don't have to do this. I'll just close the channel dialog for a moment. You see, we've got here TG list, talk group lists. If we expand that, I normally use Brandmeister, so I'll show you Brandmeister. I'll open that up. In the Brandmeister talk, uh, sorry, in the Brandmeister talk group list, we want to add all of the contacts that we've programmed that are relevant to Brandmeister. I'll just add those in there. Now, what that means, I'll show you. We've now got uh, seven at the moment uh, talk groups programmed in. If I close that dialog a moment. If I go to the channels listing again, so I've got seven seven channels already in my course, not seven channels, seven talk groups in my code plug. So 
I'm going to call this channel Hotspot. And uh, my hotspots on UHF. Okay, so I'll just put the frequency in there. And um, what you can see down here now under talk group list is Brandmeister. So rather than allocate one talk group to every channel, I've got one channel here and I can use multiple, I can use all seven of my talk groups. I can use 12, 24 if they were in my list against this one channel. So for my hotspot, on my handheld, I normally need one channel and I'll show you how to switch between those channels, but you do that from the front panel of your handheld. Here's my trusty uh, DM1801 Bofeng. So I'll just show you here. If we can just focus in, there we are. So I can scroll through the talk groups programmed in just by using the left or right keys here. Just need one channel. It's the same with the uh, DM5R or RD5R, except we just use the uh, band or the AB key. So I've got the band key pressed here and I can scroll through. Um, the same will apply obviously if you're using a repeater you just need one channel You can switch time slots if you want uh, you can see this one now is on let's get it to focus It's on time slot 2 if I press the asterisk key under the exit here I got my finger on that and just focus in now we're on time slot 1 time slot 2 time slot 1 same with the GD 77 and the 1801 you just want the uh, the asterisk and that will allow you to switch time slots on the go. So very, very versatile. Hotspots are on slot two, so I'll just uh, alter that to slot two. Mine's on color code one, so that's fine. Uh, we don't need to worry about these uh, other settings at the moment. We'll just close that. And we now already have almost a code plug we could use on a hotspot all we need to do we've got a channel we've got our contacts we need to put our channels into a zone um, because there's only one channel open software has already rather cleverly put the hotspot channel into zone one. If you want to keep your channel separate you might have a zone for your hotspot, a zone for one repeater, a zone for another repeater, a separate zone for analog FM channels. You might want to do it that way. I'm going to call this zone hotspot. So I'm going to go on and show you how to put some analog channels in in a moment. We'll rename that hotspot. And you'll see now under the zones dialog, we've got hotspot. Next, let's put in a couple of analog channels. Let's go to our channel dialog, our channel um, menu item again. Right click. We're going to add a channel. This time it's an analog channel. Mark it up as analog. Um, I'm going to call it, which is old terminology, but I'm quite an old amateur. I'm going to call this S20, which is the UK VHF calling channel, the two meter calling channel I'm going to put in here. And that is 145. Point five. I know um, band layouts are different different parts of the world, so this is just for the, the UK. Pressing this uh, couple of arrows here, we'll put the same frequency as uh, TX and RX are now the same. This is simplex channel, that's the way I want it. Um, if we leave it the power level at master, we can actually change the power level again from the handheld, as and when we need to or we could allocate a power level if we always want to be using high power um, then we can set it like that again it's entirely up to you 12 and a half kc spacing in uh, certainly in the uk it's a simplex channel so we don't want a tone and we leave the um squelch level to the default that's all we need for a simplex channel Tick, uh, press the cross 
you'll see it's showing there as 20. I'll add another one. This time I'm going to do um, one of our local repeaters because I did have a comment asking how to put in split frequencies on the open software. It's very simple. We'll set analog again. There's the name of my local uh, two meter VHF repeater. All right, the receive frequency is 145.750. And the, I'm not going to press the arrows this time because of course there's a split. So I've got a different transmit frequency. I just need to put it in here. 145.15. Zero, there we are. Bandwidth is the same, 12 and a half kilohertz. I know the repeater needs a tone. CTCSS tone, in this case is 94.8. I'll put a receive tone in as well if I wish. So I'm at 94.8. And I'm done. So I just press the cross. And you'll see now that that frequency is in. Now, as I said, you probably want to put your analog channels in a different zone. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're using your transceiver. So I'm going to add a zone. I'll click on zones, right click, add. So it's come up as zone two. And in zone two, I'm going to put my VHF analog frequencies. And I'm going to call that zone two meters. So that's done. And you'll see, lo and behold, it pops up there. So I've got those two zones at the moment. Um, similarly, if we had a um, DMR repeater that we wanted to program, we could put it in a separate zone. We could put it in the same zone as a hotspot if we wanted. Uh, again, that's entirely up to you as, as to how you want to lay out your uh, code plug in your transceiver. What I'll do now is I'll show you a short clip of how, when we've only got one channel program for our hotspot, we switch between the various talk groups. So all that's left to do now is uh, simply to turn on your transceiver, plug in the program and lead to your PC. And it's a matter of clicking the right to button and your code plug will be written to your radio. So that's a very basic code plug. I didn't see any point in you watching me um, put in hundreds and hundreds of talk groups or channels, um, but I hope it's given you an idea of the versatility of the open firmware and the uh, open CPS software. It certainly cuts down a lot of programming and makes the rig um, quite a bit more versatile. So I hope that's helped. Um, we can uh, look at uh, some of the aspects of the uh, use of the transceiver in more depth, but I would direct you to the um, documentation that um, has been prepared to accompany the open uh, firmware and the open CPS uh, software. And I leave a link to it uh, in the comments and that's well worth a read. And it gives you um, a, a better idea than I ever could of um, exactly how you can operate the radio and the changes you can actually make from the front panel all of which are very useful when you haven't got access to a PC for reprogramming. There's a lot you can do uh, on the go uh, with just the radio. So have a look at the uh, the link in the co in the um, or below the title for the video, and that will take you to the um, open uh, CPS uh, instructions and guidance. Thank you very much for watching.